Hi and welcome to this video about the Revolution Slider, another one in this playlist about this really cool slider plugin. Right, now of course this video is a bit shorter than the other ones because I just want to show you a quick and very useful small feature and this is uh, the import and also actually the exporting uh, feature. Now we are on the Slider Revolution page on your, on your WordPress installation here and uh, at the moment you can see I don't have any slider installed or uh, created here on my WordPress page. Well and just right in the center and you've probably seen that and maybe you're already familiar with this then uh, this video is just a little bit of extra information to you. Uh, yeah you have the option to import sliders and uh, of course when you click on here you just uh, very intuitively choose a file and you uh, you can you can import a slider. Now um, where to get actually some demo sliders from? Um, or yeah, what would you import here? Um, you can import demo sliders and uh, when you downloaded your version of the slider revolution from ThemeForest or rather um, the Code, Code Canyon website then it came pre-packed with lots of very cool examples. Now I have this zip file here and I um, extracted it and uh, then you can see here there is a folder which is called examples and then the version. So for example 5 I of course have installed the version 5 this is the latest version and there's also examples for version 4 which is pretty handy. Now you click on the examples 5 and you have uh, many zip archives which uh, are named by uh, the slider name um, so news gallery, news hero, news video and all these kind of things so these are very easily uh, be able to import it here in your slider and which is very cool now um, you can of course also have a preview to this sliders that come prepackaged and uh, the you find them on the website of theme punch which is the developer of slider revolution so um you just go to re revolution.themepunch.com and slash examples or you navigate from the home page and uh, you can filter uh, uh, that you only want to see the free sliders and then you get all of those and uh, these are exactly the ones that you find in this directory that come prepackaged when you download it so this is very cool and let's give it a try and um, because not only yeah do you have prepackaged sliders that you can just use in your website uh, you can of course change them change the photos change the text and you can also analyze and learn how these cool and professional slides are actually made so this is very nice feature which most people don't even make use of because yeah uh, making a great slide is of course a bit uh, challenging and uh, some people struggle um, with it and uh, I myself of course struggled with it in the very beginning. So let me just quickly navigate to my slider here um, and yes I have the examples directories here and let's just quickly pick uh, any of any of it actually. Let's go for the sports hero. Let's click on open and say override, override, yes, 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 that's fine. We don't have uh, any slider. Did I actually just import it? I probably didn't. Um, news hero. Let's go for the news hero. I don't know which I picked uh, just before. And let's click on import slider here. Takes a moment. Slider success. And here we go. We have the news hero slider. So we can click on it first and... Uh, have a quick preview. So here on the very right we have this um, magnifier and we have a preview of this slider. Very cool and now we can just um, import it to or yeah just implement it into any of our pages. And this is very handy. I mean this looks already very fancy. We have this very nice text and uh, we have nice buttons, some uh, some can burn effect where the a photo is zoomed in and all these kinds. Uh, this is really cool. And of course, like in every other slider, we have the access to uh, to all the settings here, and we can look at it. Mm, what what texts is it actually? Roboto slab, okay. And what text size? And uh, what are all the other settings? So all this mysticum behind this slider, you know, it takes ages to create a very wonderful slider. You don't even have to. You can just download it and. Uh, 
change the slide here. I mean, in this case, it's just one slide. You can add more slides, just duplicate them and uh, change the text and you have a very professional slider. And uh, these are actually even a kind of free slider, meaning they come with your installation. Um, these are all the free ones and you also have the option to use premium sliders. Now, um, of course, on first glance, you don't see much different here, but uh, yeah, maybe they are just more prettier, a bit more professional, use a bit more of the actual capabilities of the revolution slider um, functionality. So how can you make use of them? Because you cannot just uh, download them or rather they're not just uh, prepackaged in your directory or anything. Yeah. So, so how do you access those? Um, now it says free premium slider. It's because you don't actually have to pay for them. Uh, you just have to uh, find them. Uh, somehow else. And how do you do it? Um, well, let's go to our slider revolution settings again. And let's go to the very top. I want to leave this page. And uh, yeah, you actually have to activate your version of the revolution slider. So here where it says plugin activation, you have to register your revolution slider. And it is very easy. All you have to do is enter the code that came with your version of the revolution slider. Of course, I hide this code here for you. I don't want to <laughs> use my version. And uh, then you can click on register. And now my plugin is activated here. And I have the option here to use the template store of the theme punch. I, I Before it was saying here, no, you have to activate it and something. And now I can click on open template store. And I have all these premium sliders basically uh, that were not accessible before also available. And I can just uh, take any of these nice ones. For example, this showcase carousel looks very, very cool. I can uh, preview it. Yeah, looking nice, looking nice. Very similar to the one that you find on the Apple website, a bit fancier even. And uh, this is really cool. So you can see the previous and the next slides a bit smaller. And uh, yeah, I think this is a fancy slider. So let's let's import it. So let's click here. Import slider from local or from theme punch servers. Um, well, let's click on local. Um, no, let's try that again. Probably click on online. Okay, and now it takes the slider directly from the server. I was a bit confused for a moment. It's not that intuitive, but uh, right. Now I have this showcase carousel slider here also installed. Very nice. Here you can see all the slides. Aha, uh -huh, okay, you can see already in the first glance how they made it. They actually have a probably global background now they they probably have a global background layer here um which has a certain color um maybe head has a background somewhere anyhow uh, it doesn't matter and here we can click on preview again and can use it in any way on our website maybe this background picture is not even included this is why it all looks just so transparent here anyway you can uh, continue to experiment with these sliders and uh, yeah can analyze them and build your own premium sliders i think this is a very cool feature now just in the very end just very quickly you also have the chance of exporting sliders so let's say this new slider here was built by us and uh, you want to actually back it up or you want to um, uh, yeah, send it to a friend, you, you want to provide it online for somebody else or I don't know, something. Yeah. Then of course you have the functionality to export this slider. I was thinking this functionality was down here, but at least you find it definitely here. So you click on this uh, lower tab and say export, export slider and you get this slider file as a zip file down to your computer very ready to get imported uh, again by any other system very cool
right and this was slider importing and exporting please subscribe to this channel